Hey guys, how you doing? Jeff here, Aromatics. Just sitting outside, gonna work on my cigar journal, and today I am gonna be smoking the Ventura Slaughterhouse Cigar. And thanks to Jason Marshall for this cigar. Um, looking forward to smoking it. Now it's pretty neat in the way that it's got this like, uh, like meat packing paper uh, type of band on it, and I guess they come uh, wrapped up in bundles. It's a bundled cigar, and it also comes in that like brown, um, meat packing style of paper which is pretty cool okay so let me see what we got for the smell here um very mild just a earthy tobacco -y smell on the draw just a mild tobacco -y, woody woody taste it's got a nice kind of a medium uh, chocolatey brown wrapper. It's a nice length. Uh, what else can I say about it? Um, it is, I think it is a Mexican Andreas wrapper and Dominican fillers. And it's also a Cuban sandwich cigar. So it's got uh, some like longer filler and then some chopped and longer filler. And it's a budget cigar as well. So, all right, I'm going to light this up and I will be right back and let you guys know how it goes. Stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm back. And uh, just maybe got like an inch in or so. And the first part has fallen off. As a Cuban sandwich, you have the long filler, short filler, long filler. And at first it was just a really light, woody, a um, little bit of coffee flavor and no real spice and actually fairly light and a little bit of a meaty flavor as well uh, and I don't think that's subliminal from the Slaughterhouse logo I think I actually taste sort of like a dark kind of a uh, charred meat uh, very light but there's a, a, a light charred uh, meat oaky type of flavor going on and I was actually kind of getting bored and right as I got bored the ash fell off and then all of a sudden I was getting a really nice white pepper spice coming out on in, in the flavor profile. And some more strength. The strength went from a really light to a, a light medium. So that was pretty interesting. So I imagine that's the next section of tobacco. So it's probably a different type of tobacco. So that piqued my interest again. So I'm going to keep on smoking this and I'm going to let you know uh, if any more changes happen. Stay tuned. All right, guys, my battery's dying, so I'm going to finish up my review. Uh, I'm getting, uh, the flavors are ramping up just a little bit. Uh, I'm getting some more roasty flavors, like a little bit of coffee, maybe an espresso flavor. Um, a little bit of spice and pepper. Um, it was white pepperish, now it's getting to more of a black pepper, and I can feel that pepper on the retrohale. But the, um, the taste on the palate is a fairly short finish. So it's got a, 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 me, you know, a light to medium flavor overall with a little bit of a harshness on the retrohale. But there's very little taste that I get on the palate itself. So yeah, overall a pretty good cigar for the price. Um, there's definitely a difference between the like this uh, cheaper cigar and uh, a higher end, you know, ten dollar uh, and over cigar. But overall, it's pretty decent. Not not too bad. Pretty interesting. I can see people that like the lighter cigars with a little bit of pepper, just a slight bit of spice and a short finish. I can see um, it being a good cigar for those type of people. Um, the burn has been okay. I've had to touch it up a few times. The draw is a little bit tight, but not distracting. And um, yeah, no real sweetness. Uh, the aroma is nice, but it's mostly a dark, m meaty style of smell to it. And that's all I have to say. So yeah, pretty decent. Thanks again, Jason, for sending me this cigar. And I'll see you guys on my next review. Take it easy. Aromatics, signing out.